up guys, it's Love My Kicks back again as always, and I'm here with a, another review for you guys. This one is supposed to be a limited review, I don't know how limited it was, but they did sell out online, and they came out on the 14th, and then I got mine today, the 16th, which it might be tomorrow when I upload, so 17th to you guys. I'm not sure, whatever, but let's just get straight into it. This shoe is not supposed to drop till January 17th, but they did a quick strike on it, just a random drop, and it is on the Damian Lillard 3, aka the dame three that's the new name for it on the box it still says d lillard but it is what it is that's what they want to call it, the dame three so here it is nine and a half my size um retail price was 115 i actually got them in my cart they dropped at 10 a.m got them in my cart around 10 30 uh because i didn't i didn't realize they dropped right away at 10 a.m because there was no set time at least for me finding out and um I got a pair, I got them in my car, I went on Google and I actually Googled uh, any discounts and I actually got 20% off, so I got them for like 92 bucks plus expedited shipping, so I got them went here in two days, which is awesome, so I checked recently that night that I bought them and they were all sold out, so I don't know how limited they were, but whatever it is, what it is, I got a pair, so hope anybody that liked them got a pair, so uh, let me know if you guys did, so let's just get into it. In the box right here, you got a Dame postcard or a little like card with his face on it, and on the other side... It says D Lillard 3 and it has all the tech specs on it. Nothing crazy, just talks about his roots run deep because they have the coordinates of some places where it, his journey under the shoe or whatever in the midsection. Then they have no days off, just says a few uh, upper mesh for breathable step and comfort and season long durability. Then it has the rise and grind on here. As you can see, the rise and grind right there where my thumb is talking about just the bounce cushioning system and then you have the lace em up requested by dame a customizable lacing system equipped with unrivaled lockdown and flashes to the basket so obviously that's that crazy like square looking shape right there so these are just some features of the dame three so and you know one thing i will say is about adidas is they always push the boundaries and always change to shoe in ways that were totally different from the last version to the next version so i really really like that some of these things about this shoe make it very very unique as far as like the fuse mesh because it has like the plastic or the tpu in it also with mesh so it makes it a lot stronger and durable but it also doesn't take away from the lightness of the shoe or the weight of the shoe unlike some other shoes when they they do those things they compromise that so and if you look there's some high wear areas right here so and that basically from what i know is the plastic or the TPU, it's ironed on or it's ironed and the heat actually melts the TPU and it actually molds right here in those high wear areas so you don't have any issues or you don't compromise durability for weight. So as you can see there right as well. So that is definitely great. Now this, basically this midsole, I know you guys are probably like, this thing is humongous, but it's actually just a foam carry on the outside and on the inside, it actually is a bounce cushioning system. So the bounce cushioning system just lays inside of it really low, so you have that low ride feel. This foam carrier system, basically you are sitting inside of this foam carrier system. It is not like always like this. So once you put it on, you're sitting inside on top of bounce, which is great. I personally think bounce is better than boost. This is my personal opinion. I know some of you guys are going to be like, boo, or whatever, but bounce to me is just so much better. I feel like it's way more responsive and it has way more impact protection. So, but that's me. Damian Lillard loves bounce because of the fact of it caters to his game and it's still affordable for the people that he's catering to. That is one athlete I will say who does cater to the people and doesn't let a brand dictate what their prices are going to be. As far as that goes and that's just my personal opinion because i haven't seen major increases on his shoe like you see other shoes so um he still makes it affordable now this lacing system as you see when it says customizable you have all these options right here you can lace it all the way back here if you want or you can lace it all up here depending on however you want it which is really unique and it's crazy because if you can tell right here once you pull this to right here you have that I mean, you have that right there, so it, it comes over and it locks your midfoot down. So this is their forefoot section right here with the lace loops, and then this is your midfoot. And then back here, since you're cradled in and you have that heel counter, you're sitting low, and you just, it's a nice ride. I will give you that. This tongue section with, the, with D on it for Damian Lillard, it really just sits right there. It's like a booty. It doesn't do anything special at all. Um, overall, man, I'm really excited to get into this kick. Let me know what you guys think. Are you are you are you excited about it? Do you want to hoop in it? Is it trash? Is it good? Let me know. 
because I would like to comment back and just talk to you guys and just get your opinions and ideas and just stay tuned for the actual performance review. So I'm definitely going to get my feet into these things. Um, also, I got the James Harden one. I still haven't even done. I have it. I even got to do a video for it. So, um, but I was just so excited about this shoe. More excited than the James Harden one. I Obviously, I don't even have a video up yet, but it is what it is. So uh, let me know what you guys think. This is Love My Kicks. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for the next vid. And I'm out, man. Peace.